All right, g'day. Today we're gonna be going over the Cell Hive Defender floor. In this how-to video, I'm gonna go over the different components of the floor, and we're gonna go over how the floor protects your hive. So today we're gonna go over the floor and the different components you get with the floor. So this is your main vent slider, and we'll go over how to install this on your floor as well. This is your main adapter plate, which goes in the front, it then snaps in, and you also get a beast blocker with the floor as well. We'll go over how the beast blocker works and enhances your floor. With your beast blocker, you get all the screws that you need to attach to your box so that the beast blocker stays on your floor. And lastly, you get your wasp trap tray. This is the main asset of the floor that traps and kills wasps and or robbing bees. And we'll go over how this is installed and works on the hive floor as well. So this is the main vent slider. You simply turn the floor upside down and then this just goes in and it all clips in. So just put a bit of pressure and it all goes in. And then there's another little clip here. You just gotta gently push down and away you go. It then goes left and right to vent and non-vent the floor. So in this, you get the wasp trap tray. You also get a sprue of bee escape cones. Now with this, all you need to do is twist and then put it, the cone on the inside of the tray. So now that you've installed your cones in your wasp trap tray, all you need to do is flip it upside down and slide it into the slot until it clicks, just like that. So this is the main entrance adapter plate. There's a little clip on the bottom which goes into the main hole here and that holds the adapter plate to the floor. So you simply just put it here and then push down and it locks in. So now I'm just gonna illustrate the vent slide. So you simply just push the top and then move the side again. So you can either non-vent it to the closed or vent it depending on the time of year. Now lastly, all we need to do is install the beast blocker. You simply put it up against the floor and then these front guards sit on the front and then the guards behind help the beast blocker stay flat. And then you're also provided with screws with your floor so that you can attach the beast blocker directly to the box. Now you wanna keep the paddles down simply because the bees may be upset. So you wanna kind of trap them in there while you're working instead of them flying out while you're trying to screw it to the floor. Now you do have a long screw um, and uh, the other smaller screws in there for the other holes, but the main central screw that is longer needs to go in there. So I'll illustrate that now. Simply put the screw in, and then with a square head adapter, screw that in, and then you can work on the other screws one by one. So you wanna do the central screw first, so it keeps the beast blocker level, and then go side to side. 